This is the All Anal, All Anal, All Anal, All Anal Podcast with your host, Sebastian Starr. Sebastian Starr. With your host, Sebastian Starr. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the All Anal Podcast. I'm your host, Sebastian Starr, and today I have a very, very special song to analyze. This is Love Calls by Kim. And I want to reiterate that that's Kim, K-E-M, not K-I-M. I originally wanted to analyze this artist with my mother since she was the person who kind of introduced me to his music unintentionally. You know, when you're young and you're just kind of chilling with your parents at home or running errands or just doing whatever, probably cleaning up the house type shit. Uh, And they're just blasting whatever music. Now, not to fall under the... Black household stereotype, but I can absolutely guarantee you that on any given Sunday, my moms will be playing gospel music loud as hell, like ringing throughout the entire house, cleaning. And she wouldn't make me clean. You know, she would ask me to like do small things, you know, wash the dishes or put the dishes away or make sure my room is straightened up, whatever, whatever. But that stereotype, I feel like, relates to a lot more people So it isn't even really a stereotype anymore. It's kind of fact. But she also didn't just play gospel music either. She played a lot of Lauryn Hill, Erykah Badu, and Kim. Now, when I first heard the music by this man, I was under the impression that he was an artist that came out during her time period. I didn't realize... I'm not going to say he's a, he was a new artist back in the early 2000s, but he was still putting out music. And as a young child, I was under the impression that the music that my parents were listening to was music that they listened to when they were younger. So I just assumed that he was an old school artist. I didn't realize that this music was still fairly new uh, for the time period, at least. Let me rephrase the, um, let me rephrase my (laughs) statement. But, and I didn't, and again, when I was little, I did not appreciate good lyricism. The thing that really grasped me about this song was his vocal skills. This man has range out the ass. He goes super, super low with it, low, deep, harmonic, and, you know, kind of like it blends in very well. I can't even describe it. It's like this deep, mellow, like a a saxophone, you know what I mean? But not like a high-pitched saxophone, like a bass saxophone. And then... He can make his voice skyrocket. And I'm not talking about the whistle tones. I'm not talking about singing, you know, Mariah Carey, Ariana Grande, but it goes exponentially high. I'm pretty sure I didn't say that word right. It goes very, 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 very high for a man anyway. And it turns into this nasally kind of singing with your throat. So it's like rounder. I can't even, I don't even know if I'm using the correct terminology to describe how this man sings, but it's like, it's like two different people in, in one person's throat. And I just can't explain it. But so that is what really caught my attention. I thought it sounded funny the way that his voice would kind of circulate. I don't know. <laughs> Cause it starts off with this low melodic rhythmic groove and then it just zigzags and skyrockets into this goddamn I don't even know what to call it if I could find the word to describe what the sound is when someone is singing with their throat out their nose versus in their diaphragm where they're supposed to be singing it is and and I'm not even saying that to make it sound like he can't sing because the the man is flawless with the shit. Like, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's radiant. And then as I got older, because my mother's taste in music doesn't change. I mean, she is up to date with new music artists, and she does favor some of them. But when it comes to what she likes, it it is, it is solidified. So as I got older and I would hear the songs played over and over again, I actually listened to what he was saying. And the shit broke my heart. (laughs) Like, this song is so beautiful. And I can't even fathom, I can't even put it into words how beautiful this song is lyrically. So when you get amazing vocal skills with that much range and that much talent, and then you mix that with amazing lyricism, 
it is extremely difficult to deny the true, genuine, authentic artistry. You don't get music like this anymore. I mean, it's it's very, very rare that you get amazing range with phenomenal lyrics. Like that, that, that doesn't happen all the time. And when it does, it is like seeing a fireworks show for the first time ever in your life. And every time you hear the song, it's like you are watching it for the first time over and over again. It's beautiful. It's breathtaking. It's magnificent. And I just, we got to dive into Leeds lyrics, man, because I can't even, I can go on and on just talking about how great the song is. But rather than keep doing that, I'm just going to tell you, we're going to analyze, we're going to talk about it because the shit is gold. The shit is liquid. It's vocal, sonic gold. It's diamond. It's satin. It's sheer. It's beautiful. So we have a dialogue in the beginning of him just speaking and his his speaking voice. I don't know if he changed up the hold on. I don't know if he changed up his speaking voice just for this song, but he sounds and it's not a I want to reiterate. So, I mean, I'm going to analyze the lyrics, but I want to just give a brush over on what the song itself is about. It's about him coming to the realization that the woman that he is in love with is who he is always going to be. Like you can you can um speculate that a relationship fell apart because you you two just weren't right for each other. You can make that assumption and and move on, right? So the attempt to move on has occurred, but you keep resorting back to that same person and you're 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 sitting there contemplating over and over again, why do I keep you know what I'm saying? Why do I keep going back to this particular individual? What is it? And and it's oh gosh, I just gotta, <laughs> I just gotta, we gotta talk about it. So, so the the in the first couple of bars is just him, his 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 inner thoughts, his monologue. So he says, "I'm sitting here thinking about you tonight, and all that you mean to me. I used to think I would never fall in love again. I guess I was wrong." That's how the song starts. He hasn't even started singing yet. And when he says that, it's, oh, man, the music. So this is a perfect trifecta. You have vocals, you have lyrics, and you have music. Ah, I got to do another Kim song. Well, no, I'm going to analyze him with my mother, like I said I was going to do. Because I know if I'm ranting and raving like this, I'm pretty sure she's going to have a lot to say herself. So... The music is so groovy, dude. It's like, not like a stoner groovy, like a funky groovy, but like a smooth groovy, like a jazzy groovy, like a like a vibe out groovy. It's just, I can't even put it into words how amazing this goddamn song is. So let's dive into these lyrics, finally. First verse, when your heart is broken... And your wounded pride was laid to rest. You'll never open your heart to anyone else, you said. But you lied. I know you're lying. So you, 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 you. Well, maybe my uh, my initial waffs over was a little inaccurate. So you can just omit that. But um, because I'm probably thinking of another song, actually. So you're going to have to bear with me. Um, So with that, when your heart was broken and your wounded pride was laid to rest. You'll never open your heart to anyone else, you said. But you're lying. You're lying. You, you, and I, and maybe I can relate to this a little too well. Maybe I am personifying myself as this character, as the narrator of the story, because I've been in that position before where I'm just like, you know what? Fuck this. Fuck that. Fuck you. Fuck them. I'm not finna keep putting myself through any more bullshit. I'm not finna try to convince myself that I'm worthy of a relationship, of love, of attention. And 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 I'm telling myself now that I'm just gonna give the fuck up. I I, I can 100, 1000 percent relate to that. Like, you're just, you're just done. You're tired of trying. You're tired of getting your hopes up and being devastated. You're tired of you know, putting your all into somebody and not getting any of that energy reciprocated. You know, you're tired of being lied to, of being deceived, of being ridiculed, of being embarrassed, 
of being made a fool of. You're just sick of it. And you're just like, bro, fuck this. I'm not going to keep doing this to myself. Like, why? Like, I get that. And, and, and you're telling yourself, you're telling yourself, I'm done. I'm, 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 I'm finito. It's finished. It's over with. Ain't, ain't no redemptions. None of that shit. I'm finished. And then, <laughs> oh, goddamn. This is my favorite part. And this is just the beginning of the song. I got a long way to go. See, your mind might be made up, but your heart has got its own plans. There's no one to blame. The false pride, telling lies, trying to hide from feeling the pain I know you don't want to feel. Let's just do the, let's just do the, see, your mind might be made up, but your heart's got its own plans. That is the biggest fuck you. And it's an internal fuck you. You're telling yourself, I'm finished. I'm done. It's over with. I'm I'm good. I will be by myself for the rest of my life if I have to. I'm fine with that. But your heart, your emotions, your feelings is like, fuck that. I'm not finna let you give up. I'm not finna let you throw in the towel. You know what I'm saying? We're not, we not done yet. We're not finished. We got we got a long way to go. And it's just like, how do you fight yourself so badly? That you're trying to convince yourself that you're finished with trying to, you know, find your soulmate or just be comfortable, be content. And your feelings won't let you drop that for shit. Like your feelings are not going to let that just slide under the rug. Your heart's not. Your emotion's not. Where did it go? Uh, There's no one to blame. The false pride telling lies, trying to hide from feeling the pain I know you don't want to feel. That's your internal dialogue telling you, I understand that you're hurt. I understand that you're tired. I understand that, you know, you got a lot of shit that you've had to deal with when it comes to dealing with these bum-ass people. It it happens, you, 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 but you can't, you can't let that shit go. You can't stop. Because you know that you don't want to be alone forever. You know that you don't want to be in complete and total isolation. I got to do another song by Kim. I'm thinking of another one right now that is just, ah, uh, okay. Let's get, into the, the, let's get into the chorus before I go off the rocker here. There's nowhere to hide when love is calling your name from the dark. There's nowhere to hide, so let love have its way with your heart. When love calls, love calls. Love calls your name. There's nowhere to hide. There's nowhere to hide. When love is calling your name from the dark, you, that sounds like the worst fucking scenario to even be in, but it's beautiful. There's nowhere to hide. So let love have its way with your heart. You can't deny it. You can't escape it. You can't run from it. And no matter what the fuck you do or what the fuck you think, it's inevitable. You, 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 you got to sink into that shit. It's like falling into a void. And I love using voids as metaphors because it's, it's literal consumption of everything, not just you, but everything around you or like falling into the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Getting blasted off into space. It's an endless deep, terrifying situation to be in. But if you embrace that shit, then you can, you know what I'm saying, come out of it stronger, better than you were before. And it's like, this is, oh God, this is so deep. It just, you just, you can't escape the inevitable. And this is one of those things that is just inevitable. And regardless of what you tell yourself what you try to con- convey to yourself, what you try to what you try to convince yourself that is real, that is your reality, that is, you know, what you've already, this has already been established, it's already been understood. No. 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 You are going <coughs> to, you are going to fall into this void, whether you like it or not. And it, it sounds a lot, a lot of pressure. But I think at this point, it's just you can't be afraid to jump in. You know what I'm saying? You have to embrace that. 
it's it's a lot of pain that comes with trying to make a connection with somebody that you're not 100% sure is even going to work. But that's part of the damn point. Like, you're not supposed to know until you know for sure. And by then, it's either, yes, this is going to work, or no, this is not going to work. And even with bad experiences and with bad relationships, you grow out of that. You learn lessons. You know what not to do next time. You know how to be better at the shit. Ugh. I wish I could play a snippet of the damn music to this song because it's gorgeous. Okay, let's keep going. It's on my lips, and I wish that you were still here to take me away with your kiss and take me away from all of this crazy, crazy Because too many words have been spoken. Too many lies have been told. You'll never do it again. You'll never do it again. You tell yourself over and over and over, but you're wrong. Dead wrong. Look here, damn it. I wish you were still here to take me away with your kiss. And take me away from all of the... I got to listen to this song when I'm done. This is some beautiful shit. To take me away from all of this crazy, crazy... I always thought he said crazy craziness, which, you know, that still makes sense. But the lyrics are what they are. It's too many words have been spoken. Too many lies have been told. Just hold, hold that into your mouth for a second. Too many words have been spoken. Too many lies have been told. You'll never do it again. You'll never do it again. You're telling yourself over and over and over. But you're wrong. Dead wrong. You're lying to yourself. You are in complete and total and utter denial that you have convinced yourself that you are finished that you were done with the relationships, that you were done with trying to find love, that you were done with trying to find your soulmate. You told yourself, I'm not doing this no more. I'm not going to keep putting myself in these positions to get hurt. I'm not going to keep putting myself in these positions to get lied to, to get cheated on, to be mentally and emotionally thrown into a psychiatric war. I'm not going to keep doing this to myself. I'm not going to keep doing this. I'm not. I can't, I physically cannot, I emotionally cannot, I mentally cannot take any more of this devastation and I can't keep putting myself through this bullshit. I'm not going to do it. You're lying to yourself. (laughs) You're lying. You're lying. And no matter how many times, no matter how many times you try to convince yourself that you are finished with the fuckery and the bullshit and the and the intimidation that comes with, you know, dating or meeting new people or hell, even resorting back to old people. You're 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 lying to yourself because there's so much in that that you love. And it's not the idea of love that you love, it's the compassion, the romance, the the connection, the 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 intertwining with mental and spiritual with you and this other person. It's the bonding, the friendship, the memories. And and you can find that in someone else or you can resort back to someone who maybe it just didn't work out for whatever the reason was. But whatever the reason is, you're lying to yourself. You're not done. You you're you can't be done. It's 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 too much to just throw away like that. You 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 you, you can't you can't even, uh, I want to play the, I'm going to blow this song the fuck up when I get done. And then the chorus repeats, uh, there's nowhere to hide when love is calling your name from the dark, nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide, so let love have its way with your heart. This is a beautiful ass. That's, that's, I'll take that back. That was my favorite part right there. Too many words have been spoken. Too many lies have been told. You'll never do it again. You tell yourself over and over and over. And that's also the part where his voice changes. So if you go back and you listen to the song, it, it he keeps that groovy, you know, sensual, 
like soft and angelic. He keeps that going. But right when he gets right there, you'll never do it again. You tell yourself over and over. When he gets to the overs and overs, his voice zigzags and it shoots up to that nasally circular, you know, singing from your throat type. And I can't, damn it, I can't tell you what that is called or what, what the word for it is. But that's when it changes. And I always thought that was so funny, but the 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 range and the talent of this man's vocal skills is impeccable. And oh gosh, I mean, and the, the rest of the song it just repeats the chorus, and then there is a final uh, monologue toward the very end. Uh, I'm sitting here thinking about you tonight and how you make me feel, the sweetness of your touch, the softness of your voice. You make me want to be a better man. And I want to thank you for calling me into your life, into your arms, into your love. Tell me that's not the most beautiful shit you have ever heard. Just think about a man. I can't even, I can't even fathom it. Just think about a man who is so engulfed with you that he has been through torment after torment heartbreak after heartbreak and he has convinced himself solely and completely that he was absolutely done and then you come along and completely transform and change his entire perception and outlook on life and love and relationships and building a future looking forward moving in time you're 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 thinking of scenarios that you never even contemplated before in your life and he says to you You make me want to be a better man. And I want to thank you for calling me into your life, into your arms, into your love. That is some beautiful shit. And you can't, you can't, I don't care how young you are, how old you are. You're not going to sit here and look me into my eyeballs and tell me that's not the most beautiful shit you've ever heard in your life. Like, that is breathtaking. And it's like, when you hear him say it, it's like, damn, you're fucking welcome. <laughs> like, you're welcome. Thank you. Shit. But it's, okay. I gawking over the shit. And it, and it really is a beautiful song. Love Calls by Kim. That is K-E-M. Beautiful shit. I mean, beautiful shit. Absolutely. Breathtaking. Gorgeous. And again, it's the trifecta. You have phenomenal lyrics. You have amazing vocals. And you have beautiful music. The trifecta is complete. It is a wonderful song. I highly recommend you go and listen to it because this shit right here, it, it is, it is. And then if you if you feel froggy, If you want to venture out into more songs by him, I would also recommend Heaven Sent. Ah, when I say that that music is, ah, and the lyrics, ah, it is just, I can't even put it into words how absolutely, and I feel like love like that doesn't really shine in music anymore. You know what I mean? Like people talk about love on different levels. They talk about love in different ways, but that specific type of love does not get the attention that I feel like it really deserves. And that's that classic contemporary type of love that really only kind of sort of old school artists kind of lean towards. You know what I'm saying? It's different levels to the shit. It's a spectrum. You can love whoever and however you want. But that particular type is very, very much under the radar. And I think when you really sit down to listen and understand what's being said and how, then you can appreciate it a bit better. And it it makes a world of difference. Just getting that different perspective and trying to understand it from somebody else's perspective, what love is. And he's a very loving guy. Like He makes love music like... R&B, contemporary R&B. So it it makes sense. It fits. And, I mean, it just works. Like, he really got his shit together. And, and the nigga's music is great. And I can't even deny it. Like, 
Even as a young child, I was infatuated with the shit. And now as a young adult, I can relate to the lyrics. And overall, the song is just phenomenal. So if you're, if you're, if you're feeling up to it, if you don't want to get too deep in your feelings, I'd probably stir in the other direction. But if you can feel this shit, if you can relate to it, I highly recommend it for sure, for sure. But thank you once again for sticking around to listen to my little tangent about this song that is absolutely incredible. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate the energy and support. And until next time, I will speak with you later. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to the All Anal, All Anal, All Anal podcast with your host, Sebastian Starr.